this demonstration, you'll learn how to use EKM to start a Fluent Batch job and control the Fluent application from a remote location. To begin, I'm going to click on the Applications icon on the main bar. On the Applications panel, you can see the four predefined job templates that ship with EKM. There is a template for CFX, Fluent, Electronics, Desktop, and MAPDL. I'll click Start Fluent Job. I'll click OK to accept the default job name. Next, I'll select an input file to upload to the working directory. Once that is done, the Execute Batch Job dialog box appears. Notice that most of the settings here are specific to Fluent and Fluent Analyses. To start setting up the job, I'll select a queue to submit the job to. I can then specify the job submission settings. For this job, I'm going to set the dimension to 2D. I'm going to leave the time set to Steady and set the number of iterations to 1000. I'll click OK to start the job. Initially, the job status will be queued as the job is added to the queue. EKM will then attempt to connect to the Fluent application on the remote machine. The case file will be read and the solution will begin. As the Fluent solution progresses, live solution monitors are displayed in the Monitors area. A toolbar is displayed in the top right corner of the job status window. I can use this toolbar to control the Fluent application, even though Fluent is running on a remote machine. Initially, the toolbar will have two buttons, Pause and Interrupt. I'm going to click the Pause button to pause the solution. Notice that the toolbar changes to reveal more options. I'd like to specify how often files are autosaved during the solution, so I'll click the Set Autosave Frequency button. I'll then specify a save interval of 100 iterations. If I were solving a transient case, I would be prompted to specify the interval in time steps instead of iterations. If I wanted to save the case file at this point, I would click the Save button on the toolbar. The case and data files would be saved in the working directory. The working directory is a directory on the compute server where job files are staged. Now let's say that I want to enter some fluent commands to further control the solution. I'll click on the Command Window button. The Command Window is similar to the Fluent console and enables you to execute Fluent Text User Interface or TUI commands just as you would if you were working in Fluent on your own machine. As an example, let's say that the solution is not converging. In this particular case, the under relaxation factor for the momentum equation is still set to the default value of 0.7. I'm going to enter a command that will change the under relaxation factor to 0.6. When I press enter, the command is executed in Fluent. When I resume the solution, it is now more likely to converge. Of course, any valid Fluent command can be sent from EKM in the same way. I'm going to resume the paused solution by clicking the Resume button on the toolbar. Calculations will continue from the point at which they were paused. I'll skip ahead to the point where the solution is finished. Notice that the status of the job is now executed, and that the toolbar no longer appears in the job status window. To view a log of what has occurred during the job run, I can select the Transcript tab. To view the job inputs and resulting outputs in the Compute Server Working Directory, I'll select the Working Directory tab. I can download any of these files to my machine or to the EKM repository. I'd like to copy the results to my machine, so I'm going to select the Results file, then click the Download to Local System button. The file is automatically downloaded to the default download location on my machine. This concludes the demonstration on using EKM to remotely control ANSYS applications.